Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn step by step from scratch how do we get started with Vagrant. We will install Vagrant, we will uh, set up Vagrant, we will use Vagrant and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and do not worry if this is the first time you are using Vagrant or you are a complete beginner. I will tell you everything from scratch and we will go up step by step. So in this session we are going to learn how do we install and set up Vagrant and I will tell you the steps on both Windows and Mac operating system. Then we will see how do we install VirtualBox. Now for Vagrant we need some provider for virtual machines. We can use VirtualBox which is free and open source and it comes with a direct support with Vagrant but there are others as well. I will tell you about those in a moment but here we are going to use VirtualBox. Then we will see how do we create and run virtual machines using Vagrant? We are going to set up virtual machines and then we will go inside the virtual machines and run some commands. We will also see some Vagrant commands that we can use to manage virtual machines like how do we install the virtual machine, how do we start them, stop them, uh, connect to them, destroy them and then uh, how do we list the virtual machines and so on. So there will be a lot of other things we will do. and all the notes I will keep in the description section of this video so whenever you want you can check the notes. So let's get started and let us first see how do we install Vagrant. So you can just go to the Vagrant website and go to downloads. So let's say if you are on Windows you can go to your browser and just search for Vagrant download and this should show you the Vagrant website from HashiCorp and you can see here you can select your operating system so this is Windows and for Windows you can download your version. Now this is AMD and then i686 now generally uh, i686 should work for you uh, you can also check if you go to your my computer or this PC do a right click and say properties you can see your operating system so this is 64 bit uh, so here for me this should work fine this one should work fine so you can download it I think I have already downloaded so to save some time I will directly go to my downloads folder and uh, yes you can see this is what I want to use I have already also downloaded the AMD version but I will just use this one and if you are on Mac operating system again you can just go to the Vagrant website search for Vagrant download and then go here and for Mac you can also use Brew so if you have installed Brew on your Mac you can just uh, download it using Brew install and it will do all the setup or uh, otherwise you can just get the binary for Mac OS from here so you can download this like the DMG file and that will work. So let us first go to the Windows. This is my Windows and I have already downloaded the file, the executable file for Vagrant and I will run this and this is the installation and setup wizard. You can read and then accept the license and here is the location. So by default it will go in C drive but if you want you can change this. So let's say I want to use a different drive. I want to put my Vagrant here. So I will just create a new folder here. I will say Vagrant. I pressed Ctrl Shift and N key on my keyboard to create a new folder. I am calling it Vagrant and I will give this location here. You can also change, click on change and then select and provide the location here. or you can also browse from here so this is D and Vagrant this will be the same thing and I will say OK and then I will say next and install so this will install Vagrant on Windows operating system so let it continue here this DMG file and then I will double click on the DMG file and this will add Vagrant in my applications so let me just wait for this 
yes you can see it is verifying vagrant now if you are having brew i would suggest you just uh, use the brew command to install vagrant and now i'll just uh, double click on the package file and this will put vagrant in my applications folder so here we have got the installer and i can select and continue and i will install so this will complete the installation of vagrant on my so this is for my mac if you have any password set you can give the password and on windows also i will just say finish it is asking me to restart so you can say yes it will restart the operating system so this is uh, installing on my mac and this is done i'll say close i don't want to keep the installer so i will remove the installer and this is done so uh, here we have done on mac and my windows system is also restarted and you can just check here if i go to add remove programs i should find here you can see vagrant is here also if I now go to my command line or PowerShell or git bash and I say vagrant hyphen hyphen version if it is installed it will show us the version of vagrant the same thing I will try on my Mac I will go to terminal here and uh, here I have got the got this spotlight search by pressing command and spacebar so i get this spotlight search and then i start typing terminal and hit enter so here i will say again say vagrant hyphen hyphen version and this is done i can also say vagrant space hyphen v this will give me the version of vagrant installed so we are done with step number one now step number two is we need to add a virtual machine provider so we have to add some uh, provider that will provide us the virtual machines and then we can manage those virtual machines using vagrant now vagrant has a direct support for virtualbox hyper-v docker but there are other vm providers as well that we can use with vagrant now virtualbox is free and open source and it is mostly used with vagrant so that that is what we will also use so if you are on windows again you can go to virtualbox uh, you can go to the website of virtualbox i will just say virtualbox download search for it and you can go to this oracle virtualbox and you can download for windows so this is for windows and this is for mac in my case i have already downloaded for windows so let me just show you the downloads folder here i have virtualbox this is the executable file I will double click and start the installation of VirtualBox on Windows operating system. So this is this will start the installation wizard. And again, you can uh, change the location. So I will I don't have enough space on my C drive. So I'm going to my D drive and I'm creating a new folder here. I'm again pressing Control Shift and N key on the keyboard to create a new folder. Uh, I will say this is virtual box and this location I am going to give here I will say browse and say ok next uh, this is fine I will say yes and yes and install so this will do the installation and setup of VirtualBox on Windows operating system and you can see it is done. We have got all the folders and files of VirtualBox here. Okay and I will say finish. I can also go to the command line. I will exit from here and open a new command line. I will say vbox manage 
hyphen hyphen version uh, I think this is not recognized I'll say virtual box hyphen hyphen version uh, there is a command let me check very quickly we generally use vbox manage for virtual box commands so let me see if this will work here okay it is not recognized that is fine uh, we will check this you can also check in the add or remove programs if it is there but here we have virtual box let us very quickly see on our mac operating system as well if you go to virtualbox download and go to the oracle virtualbox website here we will get the mac host here and this will download the dmg and based on the internet speed uh, this can take some time a minute or so should be done within a minute okay so this is done and I will go to the DMG file double click and this should start the installation from the DMG file alright so here I will just move this package to my applications folder and this will copy and then what uh, oracle virtual box should be ready for use all right so this is done i can remove this i can just go and check on my applications folder so you can see uh, virtual box is here and then here if i say vbox manage hyphen hyphen version uh, yes here we are getting the output for this command uh, so this should work here if I say virtual box hyphen hyphen version let me check if this works or not yeah this will just start virtual box window so uh, otherwise you can just use the vbox manage command for virtual box okay I'm going to exit from here so we have got our virtual box also installed so we have uh, done this step step number two as well we have got our virtual box now step three is we will create a new folder for the vagrant project now the first two steps were a little different for mac and windows operating system but from now onwards you can follow their steps for any of the operating system you are using so you can create a new folder now i'm going to go to my mac system here and i'll just create a new folder uh, I can go inside my projects or let me just go to project and create a new folder here I will say vagrant projects you can give it any name and I will go inside the folder and now on the terminal or the command line you can navigate to the folder and then run the command vagrant in it now this is the vagrant command that will create the vagrant file we can use it directly like vagrant in it or we can also use it along with the name of a virtual machine or a virtual box and then it will create the vagrant file along with the configurations of that virtual machine but for now let us just say vagrant in it now on mac you can go to terminal and if you are on windows you can continue using the commands from your command line so you can open your command prompt you can also right click and run as administrator if you have the permissions but otherwise the normal command line should work or we also have option for using powershell on windows you can use this again powershell you can use as your default user or you can also right click and run as administrator or there is another option of using a git bash so uh, if you have git installed you will have a git bash and this is a good command line option it will have a look and feel like a linux or a mac command line and also have this color uh, different colors so this will help you so let us say if i say uh, vagrant hyphen hyphen version you can see this is working fine so if you do not have git bash you can always 
download and install git bash and you can use it otherwise you can use your normal command line or your powershell on windows here so i will go to my mac and i will go to the folder i created which is on desktop project so i i am seeing cd and the location of my folder and this is vagrant projects so now i am on my vagrant projects folder and now i will say the command vagrant in it and you can see as i will hit enter you will see a vagrant file getting created in this folder so i will say enter and this should create a vagrant file and yes you can see it has created a vagrant file and it says uh, you are now ready to vagrant to use the command vagrant up for your first virtual machine and if you see this vagrant file i will open it with some text editor you can see here most of the things are commented out we have this line uncommented which is vagrant.configure and this is a ruby script you can see ruby here and then we can add details of our virtual box or the virtual machine we want to use here okay so as of now we have done step number four and here in this vagrant file we will add the configuration of the virtual machines we want to use so now let us select a virtual machine or a virtual box now you can go to the vagrant site and search for any of the available virtual machines or virtual boxes so let us go to i will say vagrant box search and you can go to this vagrantup.com boxes and here you can see you can discover you can search for the boxes for example if you want to search for any linux box or ubuntu or uh, let us say i want to search for centos and you can see all the options are here and also it gives us all the providers for this virtual machine so this virtual box this machine can be provided by virtual box or hyper v or vmware and you can select whatever you want so and you will get the option to select the providers when you run the command so here once you have selected the box you can just add the details configuration in the vagrant file okay so the box is a pre-configured virtual machine image that you can use to create and start your virtual machine now let us say i select this centos 7 here you can see the configuration that you can add in your vagrant file or you can directly also say vagrant in it and then give the name of the virtual box but if you do this it will uh, you should not be having the vagrant file already created it will create a new vagrant file along with the configuration for centos and then you can also add it without adding to the vagrant file which i will show you in a moment but for now this is what we need to copy so i'll just copy this and go to my vagrant file and here uh, you can see this command is already added vagrant.configure do config so i will let me make the font larger so this command is already added so i'll just go to the end and just before the end command i will paste this config.vm.box sent to us and i will save and close this file now so this is an example for the ubuntu bionic 64 so you can again see if i search for ubuntu here you can get the ubuntu bionic and other ubuntu options here so the one i have shown in the notes is the this one ubuntu bionic so you can see this one this is provided only by virtual box so you can see this is what you can do this is what is shown in the example but as of now let us continue with our send to us so here we have already added this in our vagrant file and we can also add the configuration directly while creating the vagrant file for that we have to say vagrant init and the 
name of the virtual machine or the virtual box so if we do this it should the vagrant file should not already exist and then we can use this command but if the vagrant file already exists we can also use this command vagrant box add and the name of the box now in this case the box will get added to our local system but it will not be added to the vagrant file i will show you this later as of now we just have uh, added the configuration in our vagrant file step 7 is now we will say vagrant up and that is when it will download and start the virtual machine so until now we have just added the configuration in the vagrant file this command vagrant up will start will download and start the virtual machine so make sure you have saved and closed your vagrant file and i will now say vagrant up and hit enter let's see now what happens so you can see it is so showing us uh, all these options so it is getting it from the virtual box sometimes it also shows us the options for the providers and it asks us what provider to use so we can select which provider we want but as of now it is directly getting it from virtual box so you can see it is saying bringing machine default up with virtual box provider and based on your internet speed and based on the image size it can take some time so i'll just pause my video and start again when the progress is near 100% so this is uh, the progress is around uh, 67% so let it complete and uh, this command vagrant up will create and start the virtual machine it will download the image and then create and start the virtual machine and the first time you will run this command it can take some time because it will be downloading the box from the internet but then after it is downloaded on your system the next time all the commands that you want to run on this virtual machine will be very fast so let's wait for this to get completed okay so this looks like it is done and it says successfully added this box and now it is importing the base for this box and it will now start okay it is showing us some information also like ssh address now for this we do not have uh, we have not added any uh, you know authentication methods if there is a need for any authorization authentication username password all that will go in the vagrant file but for now we are doing it we are showing a very very simple demo here so let's wait for this to get completed and yes this is done and now if i say uh, vagrant box list i should see the box in the list you can see this is our sent os and this is here so now the next step is i can do vagrant ssh to ssh into the virtual machine or connect to the virtual machine and go inside it so i will say vagrant ssh so let's see what happens and you can see i am now here so if i say uh, who am i this is the username on this linux machine vagrant if i say pwd parent working directory uh, this is home vagrant present working directory and if i want to check the files and folders you can see as of now we don't have anything here so i am inside this linux machine now and i can run my commands whatever i want to do on this virtual machine i can do that so this this completes the steps to set up vagrant add a virtual machine provider and then get a virtual machine box and then add into the vagrant file and then create the virtual machine start the virtual machine and connect to the virtual machine you can try some more uh, options you can try some linux and ubuntu machines and you should be able to use the virtual machines now these are some basic seven commands that we can use with the uh, vagrant boxes 
when we say box it is the virtual machine so when i say vagrant box add and i use the name of the box it will add the box to our local repository but will not add to the vagrant file and you want to see where do the boxes go so if you are on mac the boxes will go on in this folder which is your home directory dot vagrant dot d boxes let me show you if i go to this i am pressing command shift and g on my keyboard to bring up this go to folder text box and here i will go to vagrant and if i go you can see we have boxes here and as of now we have this box for the centos virtual machine if i go inside you can see all these details of this virtual box we also have a vagrant file if i see this vagrant file here it will show me the configuration of this particular virtual machine and if you are on windows you can go to your c users whatever user you are using to that particular folder and dot vagrant t boxes so here if you are on windows you can go to your now if i go to my d drive where i have created this vagrant folder so you can see these few more folders here and this is the folder for virtual box and you can see the virtual box files and folders but generally it will go in my c drive users i am the administrator user and then you can find uh, dot vagrant as of now we have not added any virtual machine here but otherwise you will see a folder called dot vagrant and then dot d boxes you will see your virtual machine boxes so if i have to add any virtual box i can say i will exit from here from this virtual machine and then i will say let me clear this i will say vagrant box add and then i can give the name of the box so let's say if i say this ubuntu if i want to use this i want to get this box this is the name of the box i'll just use this and say like this and this will add the box so i will show you here if i so go to boxes once this is downloaded you will see a folder for this box as well here although its configuration will not go in the vagrant file but we can do from there as well we can add the configuration of this box this one in the vagrant file and then we when we say vagrant up it will download and start the virtual machine okay so again this will take some time uh, so let us see the other commands we have vagrant box list here we have already seen this i will open a new tab of the terminal i will press command t on my keyboard so that i am here let me show you other commands while this one is getting downloaded vagrant box list so this will show me all the boxes present on this machine so as of now we have sent to us seven here also in vagrant whenever you want to get help on any of the command you can say vagrant box now i want to see all the options i can have with this command so i can use the flag hyphen hyphen help so you can see as i do this it will show me all the options i can use with the command vagrant box so i can say add list outdated prune remove repackage update etc similarly if i say vagrant hyphen hyphen help i will get all the options that i can use with the vagrant command so you can see i can check all these status ssh we have global status all this we can do with the vagrant command okay so uh, we can list we can check the outdated boxes i can say vagrant box outdated if there is any outdated box it will show us here so as of now there should not be any outdated box so you can see everything is up to date then if you want to uh, update any box to a new version you can use the command vagrant box update you can say vagrant box update and the name of the box then if you want to repackage a box with a new name you can use this command repackage vagrant box repackage and the box name and then you can give the 
new name here by using the option hyphen hyphen name then if you want to remove the outdated boxes you can say prune vagrant box prune and then if you want to remove the box from your local repository you can say vagrant box remove and give the name of the box like this and it will remove the folder of the box from your local repository okay and you can see now it has also added the ubuntu box so if i say vagrant box list we have now ubuntu as well here and here also we can see both of these are here okay and these are the commands we have already uh, seen vagrant init vagrant up vagrant ssh you can also say vagrant ssh hyphen config to open the uh, open ssh valid configuration for that machine then vagrant halt will stop the guest machine you can say vagrant halt so if i say vagrant halt it will stop the virtual machine so before you want to uh, once you are done with the your work you can always stop the virtual machine by using vagrant halt it will gracefully shut down the virtual machine so you can see it is shutting it down then if you want to uh, suspend a virtual machine you can use vagrant suspend then if you want to resume a suspended machine we can use vagrant resume if you want to reload by restarting the machine we can use reload then if you want to stop and delete the virtual machine then you can use the destroy command so it will stop and as well as remove the virtual machine then vagrant status will show us the current status of the vagrant environment if i say vagrant status so let me see what it shows for now so it should be showing the details about the environment and it shows me the current machine status which is the default machine is power off which is coming from our vagrant file then uh, we have the option for packaging a running virtual machine into a re reusable box by using the vagrant package command uh, this is a provision command vagrant provision to run any configured provisioners now some of this we have seen some of these we will see in the coming sessions as we will do more activities with vagrant you can also install a plugin and uh, we can list all the plugins and install a plugin using all these vagrant commands so you can take a screenshot of this screen as well as this screen so that you have all these commands handy and you know about these commands go through this several times so you know the basics of these command and as we go in forward in the coming sessions we will use most of these commands now we have already discussed you can use the hyphen hyphen help option with any of the vagrant command to show all the details all the options you can use with that command it will be very handy for you then if you are using virtual box as the provider we can use this command vbox manage list vms so if i say vbox manage this is the virtual uh, box command and if i say list vms you can see all the virtual machines we have are listed out here and if we say list running vms it will show us the running virtual machines on the system as of now we don't have any running virtual machines so this is also what you can use so i hope this was very useful for you please do hands on and let me know if you have any questions uh, also uh, you may find a link for the quiz in the description of this video so you can take the quiz and let me know your score in the comment section i hope this all was very useful i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning